And this is kind of what I was building on in the preface is that we want to be able to spend the money on one thing, but converging together the costs of all these separate things. So we'd be able to incorporate the cost of all power generation, all grid infrastructure, and all roadway infrastructure into the solar road panel cost, you know, and revenue that's possible. And then if you're just buying solar road panels, all you really have to do is flatten up the land. So all you have to do is prep. And then in some cases, you know, put a base of asphalt or concrete down, but then you put the panels on top of that. So you only have to do once and, you know, just measure hydrostatic shot or whatever that, you know, the earth moving that causes cracks in the road. So then you just you'd be able to repair those quickly. And then the ability for a road to pay for itself kind of changes the narrative. So it would open up a lot of avenues for people to be able to invest in roads themselves now. So instead of state, local, federal, and private entities that charge tolls to maintain roads, all you'd have to do is, you know, sweep up debris, which would be a normal thing for road workers, and then replace panels as needed. So that that it, it literally eliminates road maintenance costs. So building new road, that's something different. There might be a new mechanism to where we could use the earth alone as a as a base for putting solar road panels on. Uh, but we got we have to start to build out now so we can incorporate that into installation chain. 